Hello, this is David Summons. We're back on the one with Max Lucado or Cato. And I had to correct something a while ago. Nelly, what was it? Were you... I think it was, you were the one that was 14 at the time. And I was the one that was 16. And uh, that's when we first started piddling around. We hadn't done nothing other than hold hands and maybe kiss a couple times. Um, but you were with me downtown one time and I think it was the the second year I was doing it. So it must have been when I was 15 when uh, Ted started making me sell weed for him. Because the one year before I was selling, I had a bunch of his weed in my sock when I was at the Pecan Festival and then you and I got in an argument one time at the Pecan Festival the next year and I had a quarter pound of weed in my socks bagged up in quarter bags and eighth ounce bags in my sock and they took me in there when you and I got to that fight and I uh, put that ice in your face anyway thank God I didn't go to jail right then I think it was 16, yeah, something like that. Whoa, man! And and y'all, there was times when there was one time when Ted about killed Gina and left her out in the country for dead. And y'all, um, and we gonna forgive him. We, I mean, we forgive him. We forgive him in the name of Jesus and by his blood. But you wonder why. You know, you shouldn't wonder why we're all so crazy. I mean, we, we learned it all. We had crazy family from the beginning. We need to break this, this generational trash up off of us. And can we all just get along? Everybody that sees this, pray for us. And I've been walking with Jesus now for 11 years. I've slipped, fell a couple times, but I've got back up. And everybody that's in the body of Christ has slipped and fell and the ones that are claiming that they're sin free are full of malarkey the only reason is that we become sin free is because it's covered by the blood of Jesus your own works is as a filthy rag and you do the study on that filthy rag it means periodical menstrual fluctuated garment that's a dirty tampon that's what that is Y'all may want to hear that or not, but oh well, we're gonna, it's going to be all right. Daddy, can't we please take it home? <clears throat> we promised Andrea and Sarah desks for their rooms. Sarah was especially enthused when she comes home from school. Guess what she does? She plays school. I never did that as a kid. I tried to forget the classroom activities, not rehearse them. Then Elena assures me not to worry that this is one of those attention span differences between genders so off to the furniture store we went Andrea and Sarah quickly succeeded in making their selections somewhere in the process Sarah learned we weren't taking the desk home that day and this news disturbed her deeply <laughs> I explained that the piece had to be painted and they would deliver the desk in about four weeks I might as well have said for millennia her eyes filled with tears but daddy I want to take it home today daddy don't you think we can paint it ourselves daddy I just want to draw some pictures on my new desk daddy please let's take it home today after a bit <laughs> after a bit she disappeared only to return with her arms wide and bubbling with a discovery guess what daddy it'll fit in the back of the car <laughs> that sounds like Alicia man it, the clincher though was the name she called me daddy can't we take it home the Lucado or Lucado family somebody help me with that I don't know which one it is Lucado, Lucado family could the Lucado family took a desk home that day I don't doubt it <laughs> hope she enjoyed it <laughs> and still has it probably <clears throat> I heard Sarah's request for the same 
reason God hears ours. Sarah wanted what I wanted for her. She only wanted it sooner. <laughs> Sarah's request was heartfelt. But mo Sarah's request was heartfelt. I hope y'all hear my heartfelt request. I want to not only be daddy, I want to be the best friend you have besides Jesus. But I want him to be your best friend first. I love you so intensely. I don't want to spend another another day without talking to you. Y'all know my number. But most of all, I was moved to respond because Sarah called me daddy. Because she is our child. I heard her request because we're his children. God hears ours. Here's another picture. Oh, with all that I've done wrong, I must have done something right. Hang on just a second here. We've got a couple of minutes left, so. Here's another picture. Turning to My Dad by Joni Bergstrom. Mom was the one I went to with any problems. This changed after the unexpected death of my mother last year. Whew, man. Suddenly I found myself turning to my dad, at first for comfort and then later for understanding. Soon my dad was was helping and advising me. With all those problems and questions that a person faces when they are making life changing decisions. Dad has taught me that these decisions don't need to be the mountains that we sometimes make of them, but when they are. Sometimes the best thing to do is smile and start up the slope. <laughs> now I often regret the fact that I didn't include my dad very much when I was growing up. Perhaps if I had... <clears throat> <clears throat> those terrible teenage years would have been a, mo a bit more ascendable that means climbable while the circumstances are unfortunate I'm so glad that I got the chance to have a strong mm, in loving relationship with my father and can I get an amen somebody well 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 all right we'll be back in just a moment there's that picture unless I already showed it to you here's another picture Let's see if we got time to read that right quick sweet 16 today she's looking more like her mama a little more every day. Praise God, Alexandria. I'm so thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ that you look like your mama. Hallelujah. No offense, son. Love you. Just thank God she looks like Alicia. Praise the Lord. One part woman, the other part girl. To And, and I know I'm, I can use some help myself. Anyway, to perfume and makeup from ribbons and curls. Be right back.